All right, now we're doing 7Q, 1s and zeros. This is by user 4386369, and 90% of the people like it. Given an array of 1s and zeros, we're going to convert the equivalent binary value to an integer. Uh, this is treated as 0001, which is the binary representation of 1. And here's some examples. Uh, however, the arrays can't... Pardon me. However, the arrays can have varying lengths, uh, not just limited to four. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this, and then we're going to say, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to join this array together by saying, uh, what is it, r dot join. All right. And if you don't know about the uh, join method. It creates and returns a new string by concatenating all the elements in an array separated by commas or a specified separator string. And so the separator string we're going to be using is uh, the spaces in between characters. So they're just right up against each other, all right? And uh, so we're just going to do it like that. And then we're going to wrap this thing up in a parse int, all right? I'll show you what parse int is. P A R S E int all right and uh so parse int function parses a string argument and returns an integer to the specified radix all right so here's something uh two three one to two i don't know why that's doing that but whatever anyway we're gonna put two in as the radix since it's binary uh i'm pretty sure you it'll just it uh uh I don't know how to explain it. My, I got an idea in my head, but I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so let's test this out and see if it works. And it does attempt it. All right, submit it. All right, very much like this one. Let's go to My Solutions. It looks pretty much like that one. Let's see. My Solutions. Yep, it is. Best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next one.